MVC Recreation, and today I'm going to be leading you all through a 15-minute retriever recharge workout with an emphasis on your lower body. So your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, your hips will get core action in there as well because your core is a part of your lower body, so that'll be your bonus in there too. All you're going to need, if you have a mat, please go ahead and grab yourself one of those. We're going to be both standing and on the floor on our knees. And then a set of weights, if you have them, for squats and lunges. If you don't have them, don't worry. You really don't need them. Other than that, some water, a towel possibly. We're going to get this party started. So we're going to start up with a warm-up. Step, touch, side to side. Now you might have heard that timer there. That's just going to keep us on track through our movements. We're going to warm up for about three minutes. Really focusing in that lower half, nice and warm. So we're starting laterally. In or out of thighs. Everything will be timed today. Moving to the beat or not, up to you. We're going to take this to high knees, high knees, up, knees up. Warm-up movements are going to be about 30 seconds each as we keep switching them around. Get your flexors here in your core. Breathe out. This 15 minutes is really meant to refresh you and get you moving. Rotations, twist, twist. Feet are wider. Heel down, booty back. 
step it up. Take that leg behind, hips front, curtsy. Step it out, left leg straight, right leg knee bends, hip sinks back. And then cross behind, right heel is up, weights in the left heel. Sink, exhale, press it up. Inhale down, exhale, press through the front foot. You can add that tap in between, or you can kind of seamlessly float. Side to side. Transferring weight, hip to hip. Woo, shake it out. Step touch. Other side, side lunge, and then that curtsy back. All right, in three, two, one. Side lunge, weight in that left heel. Either float or tap, and then sink back. Knee behind toe, ideally over ankle. Inhale, exhale, press up. Inhale, sink down, exhale up. Now what did I say, if you don't have weights, or maybe they're even getting to be too much. You set them down safely out of your way, so you don't fall over in this movement. Inhale down, woo! And if you start to fall backwards, you're human. So catch yourself, just like me there. I love seeing instructors get wobbly. It means we're working right with you here. We're not faking it, step touch. Okay, we're gonna come to the floor. I'm not faking this, I'm too out of breath already. <laughs> Come to the floor. Shoulders over wrists, knees under hips. Try to keep this nice and level. Right knee's gonna be bent, and you're gonna lift up. It's a fire hydrant. Working the hip, that lateral portion of the leg, and your core, because you're trying to stay nice and level with the rest of your body. So what does that mean? Watch what you don't want to do. Keep it nice and steady. Focus on that lift out to the side. That knee staying bent. And ideally, you're like this, so you can turn your head. You don't want to crane your neck on that dead on position. This is safer for that neck. All right, check it out, little child's pose. Same thing, but we're gonna add a, um, a leg extension to it. Let's lose my words there. So I'm gonna face this way again, just for demo purposes. Fingers spread, lift up, kick out, bring it in, and down. Up, kick, in, down. So 90 degrees, extension straight leg, and down. Again, this is gonna make it a little harder, especially on that kick to try not to lean and keep yourself more upright. So do your best. Because guess what? It doesn't have to be a high lift. Your toe might actually touch the floor when you extend. That's okay. You're giving me your best today. Woo! Not yesterday, not tomorrow, today. Child's pose, knees apart, sink it back. Okay, this right leg should be a little heated right now. You're cooking with uh, <laughs> you're cooking with fire. So we're gonna take it to the other side. So same thing, just bent knee fire hydrant left. Find yourself, lift and lower. Knees bent, 90 degrees. Oh my goodness, this side feels so easy right now. Because <laughs> I got to kind of break while that other side worked. You might be thinking that I'm crazy because your legs are still going from those squats and those curtsies. That's okay. I'll take crazy. Remember, level yourself. Left leg is lifting, but what's that right leg doing? Knee, thigh, and hip all in a straight line if you look down at it. Right. Same thing, that kick out. So again, you don't want to be looking like this. This is just for demo for the video, because then I'll switch to the side. All right, shoulders over wrist, knees under hips. Left leg, lift, and extend. 
up, out, in, down. Eye gaze is down and ahead, ideally. Okay, you're trying again. Keep that right knee, thigh, and hip all in line. Shoulders stay facing toward the earth. And if your wrists are starting to bother you, because this is a lot of tabletop work, maybe make two fists instead. If you really, really have to, guess what? You can come down to your forearms for a few reps, but then try to pick yourself back up. Child's pose. Oh my goodness. All right, seated inner thigh lifts. You don't need any weights. We get to stay on the floor here. Legs are straight. Heels together. I'm going to come back a little bit. Toes are like the letter V. Shoulders back. Belly tight. Lift and lower. Right leg. Where are you feeling this? Inner thigh. Kind of the seam of my pants right here. Inner thigh. If you're feeling the top of your leg, your quad, what's your toe? Is it up to the top? Have it out to the side. An angle. That's how we get to that inner thigh. You can be more upright, a little easier on your back and your core. Or you get that deep, deep core muscle, a little lean back, pulse it up, up. Come on, keep that foot off the floor. Three, two, one. All right, point release. Left side. Same deal, you know it now. Heels together, leather V, shoulders back, lift and lower. Feeling that inner thigh. It is that part external rotation out with that leg. Check to make sure you're not feeling the top of that quad again, straight on, turn it out. A little lean back. Oh my gosh, your legs are so strong right now. Your legs are stronger than mine. Keep it going. Do you want to get a few pulses in here? Let's pulse. Up, up. It's only a few. Four, three, two, one. All right, make your way up. This is part of the workout. Last move, it's a 60 second cardio burst. Squat jumps, feet hip to shoulder width, toes front. We're gonna sink ourselves down, jump up, play ball, toe, or toe ball heel. Sink, lift. 60 second cardio burnout for the finish after all these weighted strength and mobility moves. If it's too much, jump up, come to the balls of your feet. Exhale, butt squeeze. Come on, halfway home, right here. All those form cues you learned. Hips open, knees pushing out, spinning from those outer thighs. Chest up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And smile. Eight more seconds. stretch. Grab your right foot. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Left knee is soft. You can hold something. Hold that one. Same foot. Take that leg, open it up. Ankle on thigh. Find your balance. Again, hold something if you need. Opening up your hip. Find your balance. If you're in your house, grab whatever you got. All right, quad stretch, other side. Heel into your butt. Knees exactly where it would be if you were standing in place. Your right knee's a little soft, just so you're not locked out. All right, open it up. Rotate open that hip. 
ankle on thigh, flex the foot, power through the heel, hip open, breathe. This is your cool down. Two moves left. Rise it up, right foot behind left, tip over, reach long through your fingertip, stretch out your IT band, side of that leg, side of that hip.